Wait a minute. M Wait a minute. Mobs have names. Hello everybody, this is Chris from CBK Suits, as you can hear and know, and as you can see, we are playing Minecraft, and we are in the Snapshot 13 W04A, or the fourth weekly snapshot of 2013, and, um, let's get right into it. Uh, I'll explain the reason why there's name tags over each of the characters, but before that I'm going to do a few things. The first thing of which is going into your multiplayer settings or multiplayer. Uh, you are able to adjust your chat bar and you have this nice little scale. And um, I don't know if this was in... Excuse me. Oh, um, I, I don't know if... Um, this was in the last snapshot, I didn't really check this, but I learned about this recently. And, uh, you're able to, like, you're able to change most of the, um, most of the information and everything that's in there. So, I put, I put everything in around 102, and, uh, except for this, I keep that at 280, I keep that at 100. And then, uh, what this does is it enables, it changes the chat settings, like, you got high, and I... I did, that was from a previous recording, but, um, um, so yeah, you got like that, and then you go into your options, you go to multiplayer settings, and then you go to, like, scale down, and then you, you, and then you can see that it was scaled down by a fair bit, but I usually like keeping it big so you can see it, so keep it at 100 in my opinion, All right, and then you got, like, stuff you could read, crap like that but let's get into the next uh, item of business the dispensers and droppers now can shoot up and down and they honestly I think they just rushed the graphics because I think they copied the side graphics and then just paste the dispenser hole for that and then like I don't know some random hole for, for the dropper and uh, I created this nice thing that connects and uses and abuses the abilities so you flick that switch, I think it's, it's supposed to. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you, I'm sorry. Well then. Okay, you know what? It worked the first time I tried it. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, this spawn egg is named Zombie Chris. Now, in the last snapshot, obviously, you remember, well, hopefully you do, if you don't, oh well. Um, you remember that if you named a spawn egg and then spawned that character or enemy, and, uh, they ended up killing you, it would say, um, like, the CPK Studios, or, um, Sifu Bumblebee, or Than the Man was killed by, um, by, and then whatever you named it. Well, they've made it... They take took it, um, taken it one step uh, further and made it so when when you spawn them and you have your cursor hovering over any part of them, they will have the name that you gave the spawn egg. So and as you can see, the the zombie's not moving, not well not that much. It's because in um, it's also this is also another thing. Um, there is. Um, in the code it says something about, not in the code, but like uh, on the Minecraft wiki, it says something about um, mobs being afraid of mine tracks or minecart tracks, so um, I'm a little skeptical about that one, but um, you know, this guy isn't moving. He's not caring that much. And yeah, and uh, here's another example. I named Booker and Maxi, and then they had two, two dog kids. You don't, you don't, I don't think it lets you n rename other ones, but there should be a, a tool that you can make that's like a mini uh, anvil and you can rename items just cl by clicking on them. But it costs a lot of experience to make that one item itself. Um, so the next thing uh, we have in store is the new scoreboard command and I am, I am baffled on how this works because I honestly do not understand it, not one bit, but Seth Bling 
you a lot of people probably know him if you don't you should check him out he's like one of the lead guys with redstone and awesomeness and crap like that and um, he does a better review better than I would ever be able to I still haven't understood it so you know um, I thought you know best leave it to um, someone who actually does understand it I don't want to steer you guys in the wrong direction like I did on my first snapshot review and that was terrible and I had to redo it like two times because I said the wrong things and I'm just gonna put it to daytime such so time set day and I'm gonna change the difficulty from easy to peaceful because I know I hate the sound of slimes come on guys you might want to come over here just get over here come on Come on, okay, I'm gonna make you sit, sit, because this next thing is gonna hurt you if you stay near us, or stay near me. So, the next thing is dispensers now spawn active TNT. If you have TNT inside a dispenser, a redstone signal goes to the dispenser somehow, some way, and it will spawn active TNT right in front of it. And they'll just explode. It made sure it was in water so it wouldn't destroy anything. And, um, the next thing is... And that's as simple as it gets. Or, like, you can't you can't get any more broad than, like, being able to know that you... If you put TNT in there, you turn it on, it activates a TNT signal. Or it spawns an active TNT. Okay, and, um... Standing in front front of a uh, dispenser now with armor inside of it will put armor on so you uh, okay so see I didn't have that armor on before I'm gonna throw zombie Chris away and then I got the chest plate on and then I got the pants on and then I got the uh, diamond helmet on but this does not work with um, what is it called? Um, this does not work with the droppers. It only works with dispensers, and you have to be one block away. And, um, and it, like, you have to be one, like, right, either right in front of it or one block away. If you're farther than two blocks, you know, it'll just shoot it at you. Right? Not, not that much big of a deal. The next uh, two things are, and I gotta get a hoe out for this take that hole because I'm gonna need that in a minute Gotta get some seeds seeds where are you? there you go um, so here we are so um, if you put flint and steel in a dispenser it will now start a fire and it will use up one durability of the flint and steel and the next thing is that if you have a dispenser in front of a crop, such as our lovely crop here, I, or, um, what is it called? Oh god, I can't remember it. Our lovely crop called the gra- or, oh, the wheat crop. I always forget the wheat crop. I can't remember the name. But, but it will activate it. And it will... And also, you got you got new wheat information, and that's next, actually, to be honest. So, um, and yeah, bone meal has stages uh, instead of a full growth, and what, by that, I mean, I'm just gonna make a thing around this chest, and you just gonna rock okay, it. Yeah. So, okay. Ooh, yeah. Look at all that wheat. Mm, lovely wheat. And basically, if you take out a bone meal, and you right-click it once, it will emit nice, lovely, awesome-looking particles, and it will grow it one stage. It takes seven stages to grow some wheat. So we've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's a full-grown wheat. Now I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna see, I don't know if they've changed anything to saplings, but let's try. So you have to right click it two times. See if it changes the size. Yes it does. It just, uh, okay. So you can do it with trees. I'm just 
gonna break down the core of this tree so the tree goes away. And, um, new sandstone and, um, new sandstone and stone double slabs are, um, available now, but you can only get them through doing the slash give command, and you basically do the slash give 43, and you got that done, and then after you give the quantity, you do a space, and then an 8 for the, for this guy here, and an 8 for this guy here. And um, if you try to do the quick pickup thing with the center of the mouse, you will only get the stone slab and the sandstone slab, but really these are two double slabs. And uh, I think I've heard that you could find these on servers, these certain blocks on random servers. I'm not, no, I'm not sure about that, but you know, you can't do anything about it and I don't want to go looking, so yeah. And the type of blocks they are, are um, a block that basically mimics the top of the block on e every side. Like this, you can see that that's on that side too, and that is on that side too, and it's completely repetitive. Now I, th yeah that's about it, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Minecraft snapshot showcase. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, I hope you guys get ready for, um, you know, people who are ending their exams now, um, I wish you the best of luck and hopefully you did a good job. People who are starting their exams, I wish you guys the best of luck because I have to start my exams tomorrow. Well, as of the day I'm recording this video. But, you know, you gotta do them, you gotta get by, and, um, you know, you can't do anything about them. They're there, they're there for a reason. So, yeah, so I hope you guys had a great day, I hope you guys loved the video, I hope it was informative to you, hope you guys uh, learned what's going to be in Minecraft, in the, in, or part of Minecraft, the Redstone Update 1.5, and that's about it, so I hope you guys uh, visit my channel more, and this is Chris, signing off. <laughs>